I'm Brooke Wallace with your Arkansas Times News headline updates for January the 25th. A subcommittee of the Capital Arts and Grounds Commission approved a monument site plan submitted by the Satanic Temple. The temple wants to put a 10-foot bronze representation of the goat-headed pagan god Baphomet on the grounds of the state capitol. A public comment period will follow, but for the statue to actually be installed on capitol grounds, it would have to be approved by legislation. That's highly unlikely. The Baphomet statue is the centerpiece of the Satanic Temple's effort to get the state legislature to reconsider the placement of the Ten Commandments monument at the rear of the Capitol. Senator Jason Rayford is trying to put the brakes on the implementation of the Medical Marijuana Amendment. He's considering introducing a law that would ban smoking marijuana. Rayford also told KARK he plans to sponsor a bill to delay the medical marijuana program as long as federal laws banning marijuana remain on the books. Legislation to reinstate a voter ID requirement in Arkansas advanced from a House committee today on a voice vote. The state Supreme Court ruled that an earlier voter ID requirement was unconstitutional, but now that the makeup of the court has changed, some believe a new law would survive a challenge. There is no evidence of significant in-person voter fraud. Representative Andy Mayberry's bill to ban dilation and evacuation, the safest abortion procedure in the second trimester, used in 95% of all second trimester abortions in the U.S., passed the Senate committee today. It next heads to the full Senate, where it will almost certainly be approved, and then to the desk of the governor, who has indicated he will sign it. A court challenge would almost surely follow. That's all your news for today. Thanks and join us tomorrow.